Hi Niall, you're very welcome uh, down in Molly Dolly's. Thanks very much for coming down. If you want to come in, I'll give you a little look around and see what we've been doing. Okay, so give us a look around then, uh, Michelle. We'll have so, a look. This is our main room here. This is where uh, all the magic happens, as they say. Um, this is all our nail stations, uh, products and stuff like that. So when you enter in, the first room you do come into is um, our nail stations. Okay, so uh, we're here with Michelle in Molly Dolly's and uh, you going to tell us all about how, how you've been affected with um, the COVID-19 kind of lockdown now the last few weeks. Yeah, it's been a real struggle for us. Um, we are, I think we're eight weeks into closure now. We right. were one of the first kind of businesses to close down due to the fact that we work in such close proximity with people. I mean, we're right. proper hands on, you know, skin on skin on a daily basis. So as soon as the risk got so high, it just came a case of I couldn't have it on my conscience, you know, right. I wanted to keep my staff so safe. You made your own decision to I close. I made down. my own decision to close. I closed before just before lockdown was announced and the government actually decided that we had to close. Right. I took the decision myself oh, to close. Idea. Out of like I say, my conscience of my staff and the clients and I'd have a lot of elderly clients and stuff that come in as well, you know, they'd be high risk so Okay. I wasn't willing to put anybody. So, so this and, and this is your full time job. Is this is your bread and butter? This is my yeah. only income. This is yeah. this is yeah my bread and butter basically. It's it's all I do. It's all I know how to do. You okay. know. So it's been it has been really really hard. And how have you found it with like with, with suppliers and, and rent and things like that? Is um, it? most of being quite good. Um, I I was quite organised very early on. Um, the, the, I mean, we closed on the Saturday and by the Monday morning, I had contacted the likes of the council for the rates department. I'd gone in touch with my landlord, the ESB supply. Um, I'd got in contact with pretty much everybody, the insurance companies and stuff. Mm. And they were all pretty easy to work with. And I find like that because I did it so quick, I got a bit of leeway. Great. No, that's great. No, it's great to see now somebody with, with, with a good head for uh, business sense and, um, and and doing things correctly. So so I take it then now the plan now to get back up and running. Um, you're going to yeah, use that it's, same... It's going to be hard getting back up and running. I mean, when I first opened Molly Dolly's five years ago, I started with no debt. I was debt free. You right. know, I, I started on what I had. It was very yeah. little and I just got going. Whereas the scariest thing this time is I will be going back into debt. As much of all okay. these companies have been giving you leeway and stuff, it is only deferrals at the yeah. end of the day. So they're still all going to look to be paid, yeah. you know, and our timing and stuff is going to change when we do reopen. So the income is not going to be as high as what it was previously. Right. So there is going to be areas where uh, we are going to struggle. That, that's down to you, you'll you have less people in the, in the, in the, in the store, in, in the shop. Yeah, the, be, the timing is a big thing for our industry. So for instance, it, for a set of nails, say a nail appointment, it's usually an hour long appointment. Okay. Um, so I'd work on a back-to-back -back basis. I'd normally have a waiting area in here in Salon and that's been gone now. Right. Um, and that, so, that's a social aspect as well, as well yeah. isn't it? Like, well, there's a people... gap now we're going to have to leave between clients. So, you know, there's going to be approximately 15 minutes in between each one. So I'm okay. not going to have that back-to-back -back turnover of clients and obviously income. Right. So there's going to be less clients I'm going to be able to deal with and treat during the day you know so that there's going to be less income then coming in from that and as well i take it then your, your clients are out there chomping at the bit to get in oh, as well absolutely like, uh, you know right. yeah it's a constant if i am out in the shop or anything it's oh when are you opening please tell me it soon and you know i've been getting a lot of messages of you know when yeah. he is back open guys well, and, ho and hopefully there is a kind of an avalanche of, of custom that will get you back up and i have a fantastic yeah. client base a really Great. loyal fantastic client base that have been with me for a long time so i don't have the worry of what if they don't come back you know um i know i know they will come back and um, okay. one of the things about my business especially i find if you look on any of our reviews and stuff like that there's very few people that actually say we're good at what we do they all talk about the atmosphere and the place the right. fun i yeah. find we are a business that you know, it, it is mainly female and women come here just to get away from the kids for an hour, to get away yeah. from the husband for an hour, to yeah. they finish their day's work and they're just like, I just want to sit down and chill and have the chats. And, yeah. you know, it, it's, it's kind of that nice environment. Yeah. So even with all these new measures we're going to have to put in place, the wearing of masks, the screen guards, everything like that, I'm really hoping that that atmosphere doesn't change when we come back. You know, yeah. The, yeah. I hope there's not that nervousness in the air. Yeah, I get you. That yeah. there was in well, the well, you know, you, you, you've done a lot of work, and you know, I've had a lot of look around, and you, you know, you, you, the safety of your clients is paramount to you. you could, Absolutely, that, that's pretty much obvious, you know. And um, you know that that's that's great to see, and, and and hopefully they will come. And I've been going around businesses in Balbriggan um, for the last couple of weeks, um, just finding out who's opening, when they're opening, how they might be doing things differently. And yeah, there's there's, there's a huge pent up demand there. So I think I think we're going to be okay once once. Um, you know, people stick to the rules and, and, and people are calm and wait. Um, 
and I know we, we might have to work longer hours and, and do things differently, but it is going to it is going to work. Yeah, absolutely. Have you, I have you uh, uh, kind of a, uh, like what what is the plan? Are you going to start taking bookings? Are you going to? Um, the plan for now is we have another, we're not open again until the 20th of July, so we still have okay. another little bit to go. Um, there's a lot of work to do as an employer behind the scenes now. There's right. a lot more paperwork I'm going to have to have involved with the staff. We're going to have to have maybe some Zoom meetings on new protocol and procedures about coming back to work. Okay. Um, and then we worked on set hours. So I had set opening hours before okay. um, and each staff member and myself knew exactly what day we were working every okay. week. So that's gonna be a big change now. So it's gonna to have to work on a roster system now when we come back. So as soon as I can get, as soon as I sit down and actually do out the rosters, then I'll be able to give out appointments. Okay. At the minute I can't take the appointments in because I'm unsure of like that. Again, I, I need to speak to the staff and see what, what they're willing to do as well, right. you know, the hours they're willing to put in and what we're allowed to put in. Yeah, you know, yeah. there hasn't been specific guidelines yet of how many hours you can actually work for a, a set time. And, and is, that, stuff, is, that, so. is that an issue for you? Like, how do you, how do you know what your parameters are and what you can and can't do? Um, like? Exactly. I've been looking on kind of the websites at the minute, the HSA, gov.ie, um, and seeing what the, the guidelines are. Right. Um, you know, so I have to look more into that. And I think as each phase is reopening, the restrictions are getting less and less. So it's hard to judge now because okay. we still are so far away. So my plan at the minute is waiting to see how phase two goes. Okay. And hopefully when they reopen in phase two, I'll get a better idea of where I stand and the likes of how many staff I can have in here, how many clients I can have in here and what, how many right. hours we can work okay. basically. And how many staff have you got? So there is five of us all together. Great. All right. So, so that's a, that's great employment for the town, and um, yeah. it's, it's a really good business. Like, and sometimes, like, I don't know, maybe maybe it's a man thing, but we say, oh, look, it's just getting your nails done and stuff. And like, people can be like that. Like, I, I do digital marketing, and people think, oh, you're just throwing up a few Facebook posts. But it's great to find out that you know there's so much. You know, you've such a great business head on you as well, and that's at that. Um, you know, and, and you were telling me earlier, like you've been in the whole time painting the place and cleaning. I and haven't and it stopped. Up. Um, in fairness, I, I've been really positive throughout this whole oh, lockdown. Yeah, yeah. I kind of said to myself, we initially um were based up on Dublin Street, and we were in a really tiny little unit, and there was right. just two of us. And within a year, it was like exactly a year on the day that we moved into this bigger unit. So, and I had to do it in a weekend because one lease had finished and one was starting again. Um, so I had no time. So I literally came in here and desks on me back running down the road Brilliant. quick to get us in. So I, I never got a chance to kind of put my own stamp on it, you know, and then we are so busy and I'm not just a salon owner in a sense. I stand behind the desk and I take people's money mm. and I wave them out the door. You know, I sit here on a day to day basis Lovely, and I put yeah. in the hours the same as the other girls. So it was very hard trying to get the time to do it. So I, I have, I've enjoyed it. I really have. I've been down here from literally the week we closed. I found paint in my shed and, you know, well done, and no, just well to done. use what we had and I've wallpapered and painted and decorated so it's going to be a nice environment now for people to come right, back into right. and, and um, I, I think not all the services are back up like what do you think people are most in demand like what's going to be um, nails would be our big one we are a nail and beauty salon okay. um, but we are mainly known for nails we've won okay. awards for our nail work and stuff um, now lashes is a treatment where our lash technician is almost on top of somebody else's okay. face. And even with a screen guard and masks and stuff like that, it's a, you're in a very difficult position trying right. to do that type of work. So I think um, the lashes won't be back until August. They'll be the last phase to come back. Okay. Um, but as for wax and needs, spray tan and, and nails, we will be able to be back up and running fully on all them So we, we might have a look around in a few minutes to see what, what, what efforts you've done like, to, to protect yourselves and, and, and the clients. Yeah. So uh, no, that's really, really nice talking to you now. Well yeah. done now, really, really, really great business. Anything else you'd like to tell the people about Brigham or your um, clients? Or? Just that I can't wait to welcome everybody back. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody and just having the, the chats again and you know, the new Brilliant. normal great. as they say. So yeah, that's great. looking Thanks forward very much. to it. Thanks. So now, Michelle, uh, yeah, so give us a look around now and let, let, let us know what, what, what you've done. Yeah, so there's big differences. Anybody that was in Molly Dolly's beforehand and would have seen it previously would have seen that our four nail st stations were really tight, tight together. Um, now we have to space them out the six feet apart. Um, and there's very little on the desks now compared to um, anybody that has been in previously having their nails done would have seen our desks before and they would have been full to the brim with nail brushes and lotions and potions and everything we need to do our work. Um, so that's very different now. None of that can be on the tables anymore. The, the screen guards in place. Okay. So they're going to protect both the client and ourselves from cough droplets and the likes of it. 
we wear gloves and masks on a daily basis anyway, but it will be a requirement now. Okay. It will be my requirement to expect all clients to come in wearing masks. Okay. As well. So it's just to give that added ease of conscience. I think that, you know, you are coming into a safe environment and you're not spreading anything and we're not either and that we're safe and the client is safe too. Cool. And you're telling me as well, you're going to get a kind of a prep area in a, um, yeah, um, a, sanitation, a sanitation station? Yeah, I've just realised there's a local company as well, um, Rethink Graphics. Yeah, called. Rethink Graphics, Stefan, I met them. Yeah, they're doing um, yeah, they're very they're good. They're doing yeah. um, sanitisation stations now as well. So I'm going to get in contact with him. And Great. Hopefully have something set up here as you come in the door. So it's beside our reception desk. Excellent. So that immediately when you come in, that station is there for you to be able to use. Great. Now you're really, really looking at your customers very well now. And I'm yeah. sure you can't wait to get them back. Yeah. So that's great. Uh, and we might have a look, a look around right now. Uh, yeah, I can show you around. Um, uh, you were telling me that... Um, you, you do an academy? Okay. I do as with well. That? I also run a nail academy where I teach. I teach um, all aspects of nail technology. And that's something that's been really, really badly affected with COVID. Um, it's something that I don't see coming back right. for 2020. Um, I have had a couple of people who have already paid their deposits and stuff like that okay. for their training for this year. So that's something I'm going to have to look into now is refunding that or rescheduling the dates until maybe January 2021 with the new opening hours and stuff like that one is going to be time i'm not right. going to have very much of it to invest into the academy and number two again it's you know with a client on a one-to-one -one basis that's fine you're an hour which is yeah. a long time to be so close to someone but with a yeah. student i'm going to have to be here four hours on top of someone and i just can't see that being feasible okay. so like that it is something that's going to be affected and it's something that i love to i love teaching what yeah. we do because i'm passionate about what yeah. we do um, but it's not the end of it. Going forward, I will be back with the academy. Yeah. But like I say, it will be. But it does illustrate that that you, you know you do have to thin out your business, and that that is an issue for everybody. That the business has to be thinned out. You have less customers and, and, and turnover at time. You're taking on more hours, but not yeah. getting any more any, any more um, revenue or generating any more business. No, from that. we're, so, we're going to be working at a loss yeah. for a little while. But look, you know, I think everybody just has to come at this positive. Yeah, and yeah, just think, exactly. I'm coming back to a job. I'm coming back to my business. I'm coming yeah. back to my clients, which is all a positive thing. Do you know? So I think looking at it like that, it is a boost and it. it'll give you that little bit of confidence going back into whatever line you're, work, you're in great. for the future. You know, there will be changes, but we're all going to have to adjust. Brilliant. That's know. great. No, thanks for Michelle. So we'll we have a look around the rest of the yeah. rooms you have, yeah? Come on down with me, Niall. So if you want to come on down here and I'll show you some of our beauty rooms. Okay, very good. A lot of noise. Is there something going on down here? There is indeed. I'll give it a little knock before we go in. Oh my God. So what's going on here? So guys, as you can see, this is Tony. Tony is from Sanitize Wise. Um, just to make sure before we reopen that the place is completely sterilized, Tony, Tony has come down um, with a solution spray for me and he is going to be sanitizing and sterilizing the entire salon, every inch of it. Uh, just to ensure that the environment is just safe for when we do go back on the 20th Well done, July. really good. That's good stuff. Well done, Tony. Alright, no problem boys, I've got to get back to me one more uh, How do we get in touch with you? Any more information, you can catch us on our website at Sanitize Voyage through Facebook or Instagram and Michelle has all my contact and details if all the locals want to jump on board and keep clean and keep safe up. Boys, Brilliant, well done. <laughs> Good man. Cheers. Thanks Thank Tony. <laughs> and then in here then we have our lash room. So again, um, you can see, you know, this is where your client would lie and the staff member would sit behind them. So it's a really close proximity. So this is going to be quite a worry when we do reopen um, of when we can actually get back doing this. Okay, and you know, you, that this won't be immediate. This is going to take a This time. is going to be August, more than likely. This will be stage five of reopening. Right, okay. Um, no, that, that's it then. Thanks very much, Michelle. It's really, really, really nice talking to you. It's um, been great, Niall. Thanks a million. I've really enjoyed it. Brilliant. Okay, so we get this up on the website then, and we can get it shared and get it, get it, get everybody aware of what's going on. Brilliant. So that's great. Thanks very much. Thanks See you now.